Hello everybody, I'm Simeonski and we are continuing with our creator tutorial today. Today I'm gonna show you how to use buttons, interaction volumes and trigger volumes and this will prepare us for going towards circles. I hope you've seen the uh, 10 uh, like basic tutorials I already did because everything that's coming now will build up a little bit on this but now we are gonna prepare for circuits in the next few episodes so yeah have fun fun watching i hope you learned something today let's go all right we are inside our creator room and now we will go through the buttons and interaction volumes and trigger volumes that we have so we go to circuits as always and then you have circuit components here. Let's make this big. And we have different things here. One is the button. So let's, let's put this button somewhere. Bam. And we have two types of buttons, actually. A normal button and a toggle button and then we have um, interaction volume why I'm using these this more complex of course and and the uh, trigger volume because this is the basics I will go through something more later but these are the basic options you have to trigger uh, let's say we are triggering a light now just for as an example okay there's the light you can see it maybe i will make it a little bit more bright here um because this will be the basics yeah let's make it super bright so you can see what's happening um these are the basics for circuitry i will uh, use a very easy Way not, I will not explain everything here. But once you get used to using buttons and interaction and trigger volumes, you will understand how to use the, um, the circuit system later. So we will start easy and go from there. So let's go and turn this off for now. Okay. And maybe put it. You can already see when you put in a button or something, even the lights have this, they will all come with some, uh, with this kind of, you know, with this kind of thing. And you see what it's connected to, it's connected to the light now. Uh, what this does is there's different functions for all of these kind of, uh, um, yeah, these things connected to them. Can't even come up with a name for them, but they are like these kind of boards with different functions. And we will start with the two button buttons we have. So we have the normal button that you can push, and we have a toggle button. So you can push it in and it's on. You can push it again and it's turned off. Um, how do, do these work? Um, you can of course just go to them to the button directly here and do some settings um, you can disable or enable the sound uh, you can have roles i will explain what roles do later but this is basically if you uh, activate them you can uh, only activate the button for special people so only some people can push it and others cannot as uh, so is self explaining I think junior is just if junior people can junior accounts can press it or not. You can change the message of the button. For example, I want to turn on the light, so I call it light switch for now. Just uh, type it in and it should automatically update it. You can sync the text. This means different people may have different 
text on this button, but normally a sync is the normal thing. I never had anything where I did not need to have it synced. You can change uh, some things in, in this button with circuitry, but this will come later, so it's not important right now. You can change the color. For example, let's keep it cardboard and make it maybe, let's make it a red button here. It's really red. Okay. Yeah, it's grabbable, you don't need that climbable. Yeah. Don't change anything in this. You want, don't want a grabbable button that people can draw around or you also don't want a climb a button. It's kind of stupid. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of what you can do. Respawn, you don't need it. Just keep it at the spot. That's all you need to know about the settings of this. It's, uh, yeah, let's continue with this one to show you the system how to activate buttons. So you have this connect tab here. In the tools section and then it's actually pretty self-explaining you have this pressed option here it means player that's you pressed and you just go from here and connect it to the light thing it's called turn on so this is a trigger what does this do i will explain a little bit later about all these colors and what they do and what all this is you don't need to know for now but basically if you press this there's a signal going from here that tells this light to turn on. And if you release it, you can tell this light to turn off. You can also do some other things. Uh, you can change colors and stuff like this. But just as simple as it is for now, we will, we will do this later. You could, of course, have a second button that tells this light to turn from normal to red, for example. Let's try this, let's see if this works for well, now. So if you want this not to turn it on, but to turn it to a different color, we just go to set color, press it, and it's turning to red as you see. Ah, it's turning to red, but then it's turning off because uh, if we do release and so let's turn it on. And now if I press this, it turns to red. But I don't want this for now, I just want it to be white you can easily go back to the light and just change it back to white uh, the font of white hmm. maybe I have to type in white here yeah let's type in white here <laughs> so so that's just, uh, you don't need to think about this much. Uh, that's just to show you that you can do more with this. But for now, this is not really important. We will come to this later. But what you need to know is this system that you just connect. Now you can turn it on and off. Second button. Let's see what settings we have here. I think we have even less settings. Yeah, you can uh, again uh, make it available only for several people with the row filter. You can toggle it on by default, so that means it's inside or yeah, on when you when the room loads. Maybe projectile projectile collision. So, so it's, it looks like you can also use this uh, as a like you can shoot it with a if you enable this instead of just pressing it with your hand. And you have the sound and the junior and can change the color. Let's keep it green for now. And that's that's basically it, what you can do here. Um, and what does this do? Yeah, basically, it's kind of the same. Just like if you press it, if it's pressed, then it's turned on. And if you press it again, so it's released, you can turn off the light. And then when you press the button, it will be on. And you can see it's on because it's green now. And you press it again, light is off. So that's the toggle button. Ah, and when you want to disconnect things, you can just go here on the X and just disconnect. And then the function is deleted. Okay, let's go to the next thing.
interaction volume. What is an interaction volume? Basically an interaction volume is just like a button, but it doesn't look like, so you can put it on anything and you can see if you go here, it's showing you that you can use it and then you can press it. Just like a button, but as a, a kind of an invisible button. Let's do, see what settings we can do here. So you can basically uh, change the, the prompt of it. I will put in turn on light for this. So changing it now it should be yeah, now it tells me turn on light when I go there. You can lock it. It just means you cannot do anything with it and have to unlock it before you can use it. Uh, you can sync the lock. This means it's locked for everyone when it's locked or someone can unlock it and just for himself. Interaction prompt is synced. You can also change the text here with some functions that I will explain later. And you can uh, again just um, put a row filter so just uh, some people can use it and others cannot. Yeah that's, need in, yeah, that's all the important thing you need to know about this. And it works on in the same way. Like you can, it's called on use here, not press, but this may, basically means if you go here, press, turns on the light. And then you have some other functions that we don't need now. But yeah, this is basically uh, the, now I could, on use turn off pop and it's turning it off so that's basically the interaction volume you might need this for if you want to have a button that doesn't look like a button basically like if you want, you want to have an object that if you well what's that that if you click on it will Yeah, that if you click on it, will show you that you can click on it, and if you click, something happens, something is triggered. For example, the light, but there's other things that you can uh, trigger with this, like animation uh, things, uh, animation gizmos, no, not gizmos, animation chips, or um, pistons, or rotators, or music, like audio players, or anything, yeah, can basically be triggered by this system. And the last one, which I will only shortly talk about because I will explain this more in detail in a video later because you, this is the one I use the most actually of these things yeah, buttons I also use sometimes this very rarely but this I use a lot because what this does actually let's make it a little bit bigger for now this is something uh, super important because this can do, um, this can trigger when you enter, like when a player enters it, or even when a special object enters it, then something is triggered. We will need this later for key items and stuff like that. It will be another tutorial. But for now, I want to just show you player entered. We do the same when the player enters. Go to turn on the light and if we are leaving this area this uh, marked area here that only I see now when I have my makeup pen and it's invisible when I use my makeup pen it's invisible for other people so when I leave it I want the light to turn off you can use this for a lot of things I use it a lot for um, not for lights but a lot for these uh, little sub subtitles that you can see in front of your face so that you would enter and you see some text and then you leave and the text will vanish but uh, this thing will be in the next now it's just the basic function of this i want to show you so you enter light should turn on then leaving again lights turn off so yeah that's the basic um the basic things you can do the basic um buttons you can use to toggle and some circuitry some easy circuitry so you can 
do complex things with this but from now um, you in the beginning you will probably just use a button turn something on use another button turn something off use an interaction well uh, volume to also trigger something to turn something on and maybe use a trigger volume to give a message to the person that's entering it but that's kind of where you want to start thank you guys for watching again as always like and subscribe and visit my extra room that i built to show off the things that you can do and to give you a little bit insight especially when the circuits come up that you can just check out make a selfie post it whatever and uh, yeah see you in the next tutorial bye bye